so we are on part two of the client care manager position. This one's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video. It's fairly straightforward. So if you guys haven't watched part one, or the overview, make sure you guys go and watch those videos. Um, this one is called Extreme Gifting with a Virtual Assistant. And so if you guys remember in part one, we talk a lot about making a Google onboarding form that goes into the CRM. Now, this one's gonna require a budget, not a huge budget, but it's going to require a little bit of a budget. Again, my background's in real estate, so we're gonna talk about a theory called pot buys. But before we do, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you guys get notified of all the future videos. And with that being said, we're gonna talk about pot buys. So there was this theory when I was growing up in business about pot buys. Pot buys were this thing where all of your past clients, all of your current clients, and kind of like your dream 100 clients, people you wanted to maybe one day be clients, you did this thing called a pot buy. A pot buy was you would usually go buy these like really cheesy like dollar, two dollar, three dollar gifts right you know like um i used to buy peeps like these little those little nasty candies i love them but people say they're nasty i'd buy these peeps i'd put a little note on it that looks like this it says hey i hope you're having a great easter or i hate hey i hope uh, whatever i put on it and i just drop it on their doorstep and again this was just another way to go above and beyond in marketing and show people that you cared more than just send in something that they didn't care about you know but this is just it was cheesy right it was meant to work and it worked really well this this method comes from something called the brian buffini method so if you want to learn more about that you can go look up brian buffini look up a little bit of his method about the pop by method so why am i sharing this with you well once i started to get virtual assistants and then i started to go from zero clients to 20 to 100 to 500 to 2000 we're up to like 2400 clients now over here at sierra rocket va i learned that my top you know probably 250 people i wanted to make sure that they were repetitively getting gifts from us that reminded them who we were that we were here that we love them and then ultimately we did that also so that way we were always staying in their mind for future referrals because obviously we make a lot of money on future referrals now i hear all the time well justin the reason why i might not hire a va is i want a personal assistant to be able to do some things like gifting and go to the store but here's the thing there is this thing it's kind of a secret that the industry has kept for a long time and so if you haven't heard of it i need you to go make an account right this second it's called amazon if you've never heard of it, make sure you get an account. Just kidding, you've probably heard of it. Your wife or husband probably has an obsession with it, but use Amazon. What this looks like is all you're gonna do is you're gonna jump on Amazon, you're gonna create a brand new account, you're gonna put one of your company cards on this said Amazon account. When you put the company card on the said Amazon account, you are going to put a limit on the said credit card, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have your virtual assistant be able to access this Amazon account. Now, if you have any problems with your virtual assistant accessing this Amazon account, you're just obviously gonna use a VPN. This is a VPN that we recommend, NordVPN. It allows you to change their IP address so that they can access websites like Amazon, et cetera. Once your VA accesses Amazon, they now have the ability to search for gifts. Now, let's take a rewind. If you remember, because of that onboarding form, we now know what, our, what your clients like and don't like. So let's say your client says they have three kids and the kids are two years old. One of the things that we can do is our VAs can go online. They can go, what would be good for a two-year-old? Oh, a coloring book, right? Our VAs can go look for a $2 coloring book. And then what, one of the key things you wanna do here is you wanna search in the filters. You wanna search in the Amazon filters for the filter that says, can add a gift note right the reason we want to add a gift note not all products allow you to add a gift note but if you can add a gift note it allows you to put whatever message you want attached to the gift and so for example if you were buying you know joe and betty their two two-year-old kids coloring books which will just be a great gift that's super personal and show that you cared that you knew about them and you send that via amazon and you click add a gift note in the gift note you might go hey betty and joe just wanted to hope you guys are having a great week found these on Amazon, thought about your two lovely kids, just wanted to drop you guys these because I think they might enjoy them, right? Easy gift note. Here's the thing. You never left your office. You never even know these got sent. 
your VA sent them out for $2, you probably have this super extreme owner, you know, or membership to this thing called Amazon Prime for like 12 bucks a year or 12 bucks a month. I don't know what it is anymore. Whatever it is, um, you probably have a membership to it. So it's free shipping. So literally for two, three, four, five, six dollars, even if it was 10, right? You just sent your client a very, very heartfelt gift. So next time before you go to the bar and open up a tab for happy hour at $200, think about what would actually be better for your business, right? That $200 happy hour tab, maybe, or $200 worth of gifts going to your clients that are super customized that are gonna bring repeat referrals on repeat. So this is what I call extreme gifting. I'm gonna put up a book right here um, that I have our team read. It is an absolutely amazing book. It is all about extreme gifting, the art of gifting, the you know, just think about this. When's the last time you got a gift that you were like, wow, that person actually really knew me. If that's the case, just think about the power if you could replicate that among 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1,000 people, your business would have its business changed forever. Now, if you've never watched any of our videos about virtual assistants, make sure you guys finish the rest of this series. You can watch part three, which is coming up here, or you can watch part two that was, that was or part one, should I say, um, that was before this. Make sure you guys remember this is all based on using virtual assistants. Virtual assistants at just a few bucks an hour can absolutely change your world, and this is just one of the many things they can do. As always, I'm obviously the CEO of one of the largest VA companies in the nation, so if you ever need help, if you ever need a virtual assistant, you guys can just go into the description down below, grab a VA from us, and be able to do all of these above tasks. So. This is part two, extreme gifting in the client care manager position. I can't wait to see you guys in part three. And, and as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified for the hundreds of future videos around best practices of virtual assistants that are coming your way. We'll see you soon.